Good evening. Thanks for joining us. First tonight at 11, we want to begin in the tropics, tracking Aaron as the storm continues to move west in the Atlantic. And right now, our weather team is getting a look at the updated models. Meteorologist Sammy Squires joining us now with a closer look. Sammy. Hey, honey. Yeah, we are tracking still tropical storm air, and I thought it was going to be close here. 70 mile per hour winds. It does become a hurricane at 74, so we're right on the verge there, uh, but it is expected to become a hurricane as early as tomorrow morning. So watching tropical storm Aaron as it moves west northwest at 17 miles per hour, it will become a cat one hurricane and eventually strengthen over this weekend where it could even become a major hurricane with our newest cone here showing a cat four as a potential here. So there is a good chance that it's going to be a very strong hurricane as it comes up in near portions of the Bahamas before taking that turn away from the U.S. But of course, we are going to be watching it due to its close proximity, and it's going to really pick up our swells here along our coastline. So watching it through the weekend and through next week. Other than Tropical Storm Aaron, we are also watching one other area for potential development. It has a 50% chance of developing in the Gulf here, right on the border of Mexico and southern Texas towards the Brownsville area, where there could be a tropical depression that develops within the next day or so. So we are monitoring that before it moves on land and also if any other waves do come off the coast of Africa because of course we are just now getting into the heart of the season. So we're going to take a look at the newest models and of course your forecast for tomorrow and the week ahead coming up.